Hey everyone, I am going to tell you about my new favorite tennis shoe that I just discovered. And um, I heard about these shoes about a year and a half ago um, from my uncle and cousin who live back east and I'd never tried them until now. So I wanna share them with you. They are amazing. I don't have any of the knee issues and pain that I usually have with other brands, so stay tuned. Hey everyone, it's Melissa Ballman with Life According to Mel, and today I am going to talk about Allbirds. And if you have not tried this tennis shoe, you're definitely missing out, you wanna do it. But first, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, and that way, if you click the bell, you're alerted each week when I drop a new video, and it seems like everybody wants to hear more about products. So for a while, I'm just going to be focusing on everyday products that I am finding um, that make my life easier and want to share with you guys if you have not tried them. Okay, so I have to tell you, I am a tennis shoe fanatic. Um, when I was in my early 20s, after eight years, I left working for a gym. So I have always worn tennis shoes. I'm really familiar with them. When I worked in the gym, I was brand loyal to Nike. Um, those were by far my favorite tennis shoes. And then I switched over to Under Armour um, probably about two and a half years ago. And now I've discovered Allbirds and I have to say, hands down, love them. They will be my go-to tennis shoe. I actually had double knee surgery. It's been about three or four years ago. So exercising and my knees are a big issue for me. Um, and I walk anywhere from two to four miles per day. And so um, I, since I've switched to all birds and I've actually even started doing interval jogging now, um, I have not had the knee pain, the hip pain, any of that um, with my Allbirds. So I'm excited to show you them and tell you a little bit more about them because I actually just ordered my second pair and they weren't what I thought they were going to be. So I want to show you so you can see the difference and decide for yourself. Okay, so these are the tree dashers up close. Now the one thing I will say about these running shoes is there's not a lot of tread. So just be aware of that. If you need something that's gonna have good grip and a lot of tread, these are not it. But I could not be happier with these. Okay, so these are the tree dashers from Allbirds that I bought. And these are a limited edition. And this, these were the shoes that I was like, oh my gosh, I have to try these. These are so cute. And unfortunately with limited edition, I found out they only make a few of them and then they're done. They won't make them anymore. There's very limited supplies. So if you ever see limited edition, make sure you get them. Um, I can't say enough about them, honestly. They're very comfortable. These run true to size, in my opinion. Um, you can see they have a really wide support. Like I put my Adidas shoes back on the other day and just could not believe what a difference in cushion and support there were. So again, these are the tree dashers. Now I ordered another pair that are listed as everyday shoes and I thought they would be more like a tennis shoe than what they are, but let me show you those. Okay, so these are Allbird wool runners and I just purchased these. These are called the mist color and you can see the sole is not as thick as their running shoes. Again, the traction, not a ton of traction on these shoes. So if you're looking for something, but this is more every day. They're very warm. They're much warmer because they are made out of wool. And these only come in full sizes. 
whole sizes, I should say. So like I'm typically a nine and a half and they recommend going up a half a size. So these are actually in a 10 and I would say these fit really well. So these are the, again, the wool runners. And they just came out with a wool running shoe that's a limited edition as well. And it's gonna, it's supposed to have a lot more traction underneath. So I'm excited I'm actually getting those on Friday, but it will be after I post this video. So if you're looking for something like, you know, these types of wool runners would be something I would wear every day, like with an outfit, obviously <clears throat> not this outfit, but if I was doing a more casual day at work, then I would consider these shoes. So the amazing thing with Allbirds is they actually have a 30 day money back guarantee on their shoes, even if you've worn them outside. So I have, thanks to COVID, gotten away from shopping in stores and I buy a lot more shoes online and I'm always having to walk around in my house to try them on and make sure they're comfortable and things like that. Well, with Allbirds, you don't have to worry about that because even if you wear them outside, you can still return them within 30 days. And then the wool runners, they say are actually really easy to wash. You just put them in a sack and put them on a gentle cycle and you can wash them. So amazing return policy. I've not had any issues. I've returned one pair of Allbirds and had no issues with it. So great return policy, extremely comfortable shoe. If you're in a cold climate like me, you know, it's November in Utah, the wool on these are really good because they're keeping my feet warmer than if I was just wearing an everyday tennis shoe. So prices on these, um, my tree runners, which are, or I keep saying tree runners, I'm sorry, tree dashers is what they are. My tree dashers, which were the colorful shoe, these were $125. Um, the gray wool runners that are um, everyday shoes, even though they're called runners, they're um, everyday shoes. Those were $95 because of the wool. And then the tree dashers that I have coming that are made of wool, but they're still a running shoe, those are going to be $135 because they do have more traction, which I obviously need in Utah if I'm out walking and it's icy out. Um, and because of the wool, again, I'm in Utah. It's winter time. So if you have questions, let me know. Um, I'm by no means an Allbirds expert, but definitely wanted to share these. Christmas is right around the corner or whatever holiday, um, birthdays, anything like that. I would highly recommend putting these on your list if you're looking for a comfortable shoe to wear for tennis shoes. I hope you enjoyed my overview of Allbirds. If you have questions about them or if there's a product that you're wondering about, drop me a comment below because I would love to see if I can help you out if I've used the product or would do a review, um, what I really think of it. So um, again, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the bell. That way you're alerted each week when I drop a new video. And thanks for tuning in. Again, this is Melissa Ballman with Life According to Mel.